All right. Now to go ahead and attach the bells to the engines. And hopefully things will go ahead and uh, fit nicely. Oh. I want to try to keep the seams kind of lined up. And there we go. And that's the first one. I want to go ahead and put the glue inside and then lightly on the edge. Alright, since this is the inside, I want to keep it the bell facing inward. And there's number two. Alright, number three. Looks like I picked up a little bit of a stray there. And yes, that is wet. Oops. Sorry about that, everyone. And again, facing inward. Along the seam lines. Alright. And then ultimately, these guys, as we were showing before, will go ahead and notch into there. But I want to finish letting them dry. I'm in the process of pulling out all the flashing on the landing gear, but unfortunately there's so much flashing in there that it's destroying the landing gear. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off the landing gear, and I'm getting into the CAD uh, design for the landing gear, and I'm going to go ahead and reprint it, uh, just the landing gear, so that way we'll go ahead and just glue down on the sides right there after I remove them. So, anyways, onward and upward. Alright, continuing my work on Salvage One Moon Base. Base? <laughs> it's not Space 1999, Tom. Anyways, working on the Apollo uh, landing area. Um, printed up gold, um, kind of mirroring the way it actually looked, um, but the landing struts and whatnot, there we go, were all, uh, probably aluminum, if I remember correctly, um, they were lightweight, um, so I'm going to go ahead and paint those up, and then continue going ahead and assembling the vulture and of course I still have to go ahead and do the uh, buggy so anyways back for some more fun alright another day another dollar so to speak so as you can see here I've gone ahead and uh, painted the bells on the engines um, they're done actually with all clad using their oh, what do they call them their hot metal colors so you know trying to go ahead and emulate a little bit of uh, the color change that might have taken place in the bells uh, during the takeoff um, and the landing uh, the tires have all been painted a rubber a testers rubber color um, on the top uh, I believe you can see that I've got a translucent clear dome on the top. I've got an, ex an extra uh, 
cement mixer top um, with a blue. And the reason for the blue this time um, is that some of the photographs that were done post-show um, have kind of a blue top. So I'm kind of debating on whether the blue one looks better or the clear. I like the clear better, um, but the blue has its place as well, if you know what I mean. Um, the Lunar Rover, not quite finished yet, but it's coming along. And then the base for the um, Lunar Module um, is pretty much completed. I may need to go ahead and do a little bit of extra. Um, the landing struts have all been painted silver. Uh, the landing pads were gold colored. So I left them as they are. Um, I'm not quite finished. I still have the ladder to go ahead and post up the side. And then there's the various thrusters uh, to go ahead and place along the uh, top there. So coming along, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, the new semester started out at the college, so things slow down uh, quite quickly. So anyways, coming along and uh, looking forward to getting that up and running or up on the display, so to speak. Um, I do like the lunar um, moon, uh, <coughs> moon feature that's there, so um, I wish I could go ahead and print off something larger than that, uh, but, you know, it'll house everything nicely. Um, I'm just concerned, you know, do I show the ladder on this side, which, that looks nice, but... the cargo door is over here so I may do it like that so that way the ladder can show possibly on this side a little bit um, and then go ahead and do a little bit of Oh, just, you know, go ahead and fill in the area there around the hatch. So that way it pops out a little bit more. So, we'll see what ends up happening there. I also have a temporary um, sign for this. And here it is here. As, it's, as you can read, it says Salvage 1. Uh, Once upon a time, a junk man had a dream. So I don't know if I'm going to put this up, or I would, wouldn't mind going ahead and coming up with a sign that actually holds the vulture from uh, Salvage 1 on it. So, who knows? I might come up with something better still. So, anyways. That's where we're at as of today. More to come. Alright, next part on the model. Um, going ahead and working on the deceleration thrusters. Um, which are these guys here. Need a little bit of cleanup um, before I go ahead and mount them onto the cement mixer like that. After they get placed on then there are some reaction control thrusters. There you go. <clears throat> That'll end up going on the sides. Like that. Oops. There we go. Like that guy right there. So and those reaction control thrusters, <laughs> they look like flashlights when uh, the show was running, so it might have been. So, anyways, on to these guys now. Alright, a little bit more completed on the uh, Vulture. Um, I've added the deceleration thrusters as well as the uh, 
reaction control thrusters, which, as I mentioned before, kind of always reminded me of flashlights, the way they were made. Um, <clears throat> I've gone ahead and used some all-clad uh, hot metal to go ahead and uh, give this a nice uh, little bit of a uh, darker color so it kind of matches what I think it would look like once they had been used. Reaction control thrusters, I did put a single coat and I'm going to put a second coat on these because they they need to be a little bit darker because you can't really tell anything's been done to them. These guys up here, they've had uh, two heavy coats. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and add to this. Um, putting this guy on top of everything here. All right, so you can see him right there. Um, he's coming along pretty well, at least I think he is. Um, I've gone ahead and assembled all the various parts for the Lunar Rover. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more painting. Um, the wheels on the Rover were nothing more than a uh, they were metal um, because you didn't need heavy rubber and air in them and whatnot. Um, so they were uh, metal constructs um, that were shaped like tires. So I kind of give them a slight mesh look. At least I think they look a little bit meshy. Meshy? Eh. Uh, but the rest of it was pretty much white, although it was uh, kind of a dirty white. So. As much as I would love to go ahead and give this a, a nice paint job, I'm gonna. I would have to go ahead and prime the entire thing. Um, otherwise, the paint would go ahead and flow in the direction of the filament, and that did happen on the tires there a little bit. So I'm gonna avoid that. So she is almost done. I'll be glad when she's done. It's been a long time in the making, so.